Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking to you about hair again but there's more. I'm going to teach you guys how to wrap, what to use in the shower to keep your hair from getting wet and all that good stuff so stay tuned. So starting off first this video is not sponsored but I love 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 Earth Therapeutics. I like their exfoliating pads. I like their um, exfoliating sticks and I especially love their shower caps. Now, th these I got for like $5 at the local grocery store. Now here we have Publix, that's where I bought it from. They do have it at Whole Foods, but they don't have the one that I like. This one has the cotton on the outside. Cotton on the inside, sorry. And silk on the outside. And then it has the plastic lining in the middle. I like this because it keeps my hair moisturized. I like this because it looks cute. And it's silky and keeps my head cool. Because I noticed with the plastic one, it heats up my head and I do not like that at all. And it's a perfect size for people who has my length and shorter. So this is really good. And it is... Yeah, see, after after use rinse and hang to dry so it's really easy to dry it doesn't get your hair wet at all and it keeps it moisturized so this is how you put it on for I think they have a blue one so guys you don't have to be all girly but nobody's gonna see you in this so there's no it's not gonna be a really point to worry about the color but you know whatever so this how it looks And it had the pink logo somewhere, but I had this for about a few years now. I think three years in total. So that's why it looks kind of faded, but it was like a really nice silky, silkish pink. And it had pink, a dark pink on it. But this one is really, really, really good. Next, to dry your hair after you take a shower, if you didn't cover your hair that day, or after you shampooed, microfiber towels these are the best towels in the world for dreads even for loose hair or afros these are the best towels the texture and everything is so soft i recommend this for your face too and for your whole body if you're not trying to get old i use this on a daily basis so i have to wash it quite often but i got the color in blue the outline is green this is a uh, I don't even know what material this is. In. Okay. By the way, I got this in Spain, so this not might even be in English. Yeah. I don't have anything in English in this. Everything is in Arabic or Spanish. I see Italian, but it's all good. But these towels are the best. This is very good for travel towels by the way and it dries very easy so you don't have to worry about it being soaking wet after you dry your hair and it comes with this so you can hang it these are very I recommend this I'll put the link down below next I do advise if you are starting out to wrap your hair get two of them get a huge one with and length and then get one that's very long but short and width the reason why you don't want like to not have as many options with this you have two options and you can do many different styles I'm gonna show you the styles that I do and all that now the short one with the short width I really prefer it anybody that's starting out to wrap their hair I suggest you get both in black both in black or get one white and get one black. I recommend the shorter one black and I recommend the bigger one white. Reasons why. You want to wear this when you go to work. When you go out of town, this is my biggest thing when I go out of town. People will touch my hair. People will pull on my hair. I, I hate that and I don't want to scream at them because they just don't know. But they think it's so cool to touch your hair and pull on your hair. I don't like it. You might not like it. Or you might like the attention. I hate it, but I recommend getting this and a short one for traveling, okay? So, I I lost my hair tie, so I'm going to have to use a rubber band. When you do use rubber bands on your hair, it does pop your hair. But let me, let me say this. 
if you are going to use a rubber band make sure it's one time use and cut the rubber band off don't pull it because if you pull it off it's going to hurt and it's going to rip your hair now i've been using rubber bands here and there so i don't have that problem because usually i cut it off or i take it off a very particular way so let me tie my hair so you see this i did get most of my hair in the rubber band but there's a few ones i didn't get so i just bring it i don't like try to tuck it in because if you try to tuck it in it does rip your hair and you do it if you gotta go very slow go slow because you really don't want to damage your hair like that by the way it's very hot that's why my hair is looking like this and all that and if you need to adjust do this pull down do this pull down okay so don't worry about it being neat underneath it's all right we're gonna wrap it anyway so i start off like this okay make sure they're the same length some people do one shorter than the other i don't do that it's annoying for me now even though i have freeform dreads i like to have a smooth look when i do my wraps and that's just me it's up to you how you want it so make sure it's like this okay now i'm going to i'm going to tuck it in underneath so as you can see i'm tucking it underneath like this then i take this and i build around it so it can stay tucked and i pull and wrap so after you get right here you're gonna pull and wrap and adjust this if you need to adjust it make sure pull and wrap and then tuck behind okay so that's one step now I'm gonna go the opposite way with the other strand that I have left so I take it same thing wrap wrap above this one take it the same thing wrap wrap adjust if you need to and tuck behind now you see I have the fringes here that's no problem you can just tuck all that in tuck tuck now you want to make sure you leave a little bit of room for the front from the first very first layer you have so if you need to adjust it you adjust So I'm adjusting all this so it can get all my edges and all that. And that's the smooth look that I like to get. So when you put your hair in a ponytail, that's your base. And you build on top of that, alright? So you'll be fine if you do that as your base. I like to cover my ears. And then what I like to do, I like to push this back. I like for my edges to breathe a little bit so that is wrap number one with the short width and long length okay next wrap number two now this is a pretty big wrap okay almost covered my whole entire body all right this is a very long wrap now I can leave my hair like this. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. And so I have to fold it in a triangle. There's some wraps I ha have that I can fold into a perfect triangle, but you don't need a perfect triangle. If it's like this, you see how the fabric is like drooping in the front? It's fine. Because nobody's going to look at that. And you don't have to worry about all that. So even though it's not a perfect triangle, it's a triangle. So you can leave it here in the ponytail. And I usually take this. Take these two in the front. Go in the back. And tie it. Into a knot. 
okay, Italian or not, have this up, this is the same concept if my hair is down, I do the same thing, and I tuck this in the back. So this gives the illusion that I have more hair than I actually do. Right. And that's how I keep it like that. Y'all can see. And that's how I wrap it with these big ones. I got, um, my dad actually taught me how to do this because he used to wear his hair like this. But his hair was obviously longer than mine. But I, I wear this to school. I used to wear this to work. And the great thing about wearing wraps to work, school, and all of that, people don't focus on your hair. They focus on your face and how you are. And it doesn't bring as much attention as... Even if they know you have dreads, it doesn't still bring that attention. If you don't want that attention, this is very great for traveling. Because people don't pull on your hair or want to touch your hair. And, you know, everybody got dirty hands and all of that you don't know where your hands been don't let them touch your hair that's your crown that is your crown don't let nobody touch your crown even if you have an afro or anything don't let nobody touch it okay that's what i want to say don't let nobody touch it please i have experienced that i hate it and the crazy thing is the people who do not like my hair they like to touch it and i'm like if you're not if you don't like it don't don't touch my hair without your without my permission that's one. Two, what you touching my hair for? I didn't give you permission to touch my hair, even if you do like it. I, I, I just personally don't like it. Don't let nobody touch your hair. Just saying. But that is the main thing you want to keep covered when you're at work and school and all that. And you do have a more professional look, okay? Another thing I do on cold, cold days, which, again, we only have three days of winter, maybe two. Or maybe one this year. It depends. It's way too hot. I like just came from exercising this morning and I was sweating. And I'm not a sweater. That's the crazy thing. One other thing on cold days, if I have two wraps, I will take this wrap. Or take another big wrap and just, same thing. Now, I like to get things that matches. So this doesn't match. So I will get like two flower wraps and... One that's pink or one that's blue, something that matches, and I will wrap around and I will leave it like basically like this. So you see the color patterns, it makes it look more colorful, and I'll leave it like that. But again, so if you guys did actually wear wraps before, you guys saw my videos, good for you. You guys are professionals. Because once you get the hang of this, you're going to be able to do it without looking in the mirror. Alright? Okay. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a nice day. And go get your wraps. And all that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Got you. Okay? And have a nice day. Bye.